welcome back to my channel, Glow with Candace. I'm a dog mom to three different dogs. I have two Siberian Huskies and also a yellow lab. I'm gonna insert a picture here so you can see a picture of my beautiful little family of dogs. Um, these guys are what keeps me happy right now. And I wanna hear from you, what keeps you happy in this crazy time? What are you doing to give yourself mental care, self care, and what is making you get through during this time? I wanna hear from you. Today we're gonna go over some products from ColourPop. I have been dying to get my hands on some highlighters from Soul Body, and oh my gosh, they have been out of stock for months, and I kept checking and checking and checking, and finally, I was able to get my hands on them, and I just wanted platinum, but then they had pink champagne, and I thought, oh my gosh, so I bought two, and then while I was at it, I also bought an eyeshadow palette from the Cloud Dye Collection, which is in a trance. So I'm super excited to go over all that with you guys, show you swatches, show you real-time use, and tell you what I think. The best way to see how this palette is, is to show you guys in real time a look you can do, how easy they are to work with, and how pigmented or not pigmented they are. So this palette, In a Trance, is from the Cloud Dye Collection from ColourPop. So they created three different palettes in this collection that are tie-dye colors, essentially. The outer packaging of In a Trance, and it is absolutely beautiful. You get that tie-dye vibe, and the colors on the outside represent the colors on the inside, those purple-blue tones. So I'm super excited to see what's in store. On the back side too, they do go over the different color names, so that's really nice. I just hope that reflects on the actual package of the color palette as well. This is the outer packaging of the actual palette, so I kinda wish the tie-dye came out on this as well because I think the outer packaging is very beautiful. But this is still nice, it's purple. And then on the back, they do have the different colors, which I love, and then they have the tie-dye sticker um, that actually represents the outside packaging. So that's kinda nice, and I love how I can go back and reference the colors there too. So this is a nine pan palette, and I bought this for $12 on ColourPop's website. Of course, um, they always have sales going on, so keep checking around. Sometimes these palettes you can get for a lot cheaper, but I didn't wanna wait because it was really pretty, and I was super excited to get those Soul highlighters that have been out of stock for ages, so I just went ahead and bought it all instead of making two separate purchases. So this is the inside of the palette here. These are beautiful colors. I loved this color scheme and I, you know, it's a little bit cooler than I would normally purchase, but I wanted to do something a little bit out of my comfort zone with these blues. And I feel like when I'm not wearing my self tan, this could look really well. And I feel like with my self tan, it'll look really well. Um, I've been really feeling the tie dye vibes. And you know what's even more funny is I'm wearing this tie dye shirt today and I didn't even think about how this palette is a, a tie-dye palette, like the, the collection is a tie-dye. That's really funny and ironic. I really did not. Also, by the way, I did not tie-dye this shirt. I bought it like this. I am not that talented. Um, I can make tie-dye shirts, but they're not as pretty as this one. But I just have to say that's really funny and ironic and I just put two and two together, so. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, side note though. Um, these colors are absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to swatch them. The names are inside here, so I love how it's on the back and it's also inside. So I can do a reference and it's also iridescent. So if you guys can tell when I kind of turn it around, you can see how the words are iridescent and change with the shift of the lighting. So starting from up here, we have Clarity, Mind's Eye, Daydream Baby, Future Self, all Aurora again, Chal Crown Chakra, Transcend Dance, Own Your Power, and Up Level. I'm super excited to use this palette. Um, before I do a look with it, I am going to give you guys swatches and show you guys how they look. Starting from over here, we have Clarity, Mind's Eye, Daydream Baby, Future Self, all Aurora again, which is literally just a bunch of glitter flakes that come out. So that one I think will have a lot of fallout, we'll see. Crown Shakara, Translu 
excuse me, transcend dance, own your power, and up level. These four colors did not swatch very, they're just light, not as well pigmented as these other colors here. They are lighter colors, so maybe you just have to build up a little bit to get that pigmentation, but I love how these swatch. So we'll see how they look in real time use. The brushes that I'm using today are from the BH Cosmetics Brunch Bush, Brunch brush collection, that's a tongue twister, which I reviewed in a previous video, which I'll leave the link up above here if you wanna go take a look. They are still stained, I haven't, I clean them after each use in between, so no pigmentation will be coming out, but they are a little bit stained because I've been using that palette a lot lately, so they are clean brushes, they're just stained and I haven't actually soaped them up in a while. So just bear that in mind when I'm using these brushes. Instead of using eyeshadow primer today, I'm gonna be using a concealer from ColourPop, and it's the Pretty Fresh Collection. Um, I've been really liking some of the stuff from their line. So, um, and plus it goes with the theme today of ColourPop. So, just want to throw that out there. I'm using light on. I typically use either concealer or I will use eyeshadow primer. Just kind of depends um, how long I want my eyeshadow to last. It's a little bit later in the day today. So, I think I'm just going to use my concealer and use that instead of eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna set this eye look with some setting powder and it's gonna be from Too Faced Peach Perfect. I love this stuff. Use it mostly for my face, but I'm gonna use it today to set my eye look here before I get started. So to go with my tie-dye shirt look, I'm trying to figure out which colors will play a big part. I think this blue here, I totally have to use this blue here, which is the Transcendance, I believe. And then I kinda wanna play with these pinks and maybe throw this purple in. So I'm just gonna play around. I might use one of these lighter colors up here too just because they swatch so light. I wanna see how they actually come into play with my eye look and see how light they do. And I also kinda wanna use this topper. So we're just gonna start playing around. I think the first color I'm gonna go in with is I'm gonna go in with Daydream Baby up here. I honestly feel like this comes better out on my brush than the swatch. I don't know if you guys can tell, it is a lighter color, which is understandable, but there's more pigmentation than you realize until you start using it. So that's really reassuring. So I actually like this um, Daydream Baby, which is one of the ones that swatched very light, but honestly, when you apply it, it's still a light color, but it's very pretty, and there is pigmentation to it. So I'm very impressed with that, and so it's probably that way with the lighter colors, is they are just lighter colors, but you are just gonna want to apply a little bit more if you want them to show up a little bit more than the initial swatch. But they're beautiful colors, and they're meant to be a little bit lighter, I'm thinking. This is a clean brush, but it is stained because I haven't actually soaped it up in a while. In between each um, color, I do clean these brushes with this awesome tool that I have. So it's just stained, but it's not gonna have any color fallout from this. The next color I think I'm gonna go with is Own Your Power. Next color I'm gonna go in with is Transcend Dance. Wow, that is pigmented. That's very pigmented, so I'm gonna give a little bit off of this eye and a little off of this one. Wow, that's super pigmented.
So this is very pigmented. If you're gonna go in with this color, be very careful. I have more applied to this side than I do this, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. And of course, I'm gonna add other colors so it won't be as blue as what it's showing. But just to show you how pigmented it is, um, yeah, but it's a beautiful color. I'm gonna go in with this pink color here, which is Crown Chikara. I'm now gonna use up level this purple here to kind of tone down um, the blue that I have. I'm gonna go in with Daydream Baby here. I'm gonna go in with Future Self here, this light blue for the corner of my eyes. I'm gonna go with Dream Baby and add a little bit more at the top and blend everything together. I really want to show you guys um, all Aurora again because it's literally just like a bunch of glitter. I'm gonna tap that on with my finger because it's so loose glitter that I'm afraid the brush is just gonna get it all over my face. So I am going to use my finger for this. I finished my look with this palette. I'm gonna go finish putting on the rest of my makeup and I'm also going to do my hair. I won't put my highlighter on so that way I can go over the sole body highlighter with you guys and show you real time use of that. So be back in a moment. I've been wanting this Soul Body ColourPop highlighter for months. I've heard wonderful things, but they've been out of stock. So I'm super excited that I finally was able to order some. I got two colors to share with you guys. The two colors I bought were Platinum and Pink Champagne, and I bought these on the ColourPop website. I know you can buy some at Ulta, but they don't have all the varieties. I could get Platinum at Ulta, but I couldn't get Pink Champagne, and I really wanted both. So I decided to order from the ColourPop website. They retail for $14, sometimes you can get them on sale, but they've been having a hard time having them restocked, so honestly, get your hands on them while you can. I haven't put my highlighter on yet, so that way I can show you guys real-time use. I'll probably do one side one and one side the other, or what I'll do, oh, you know what, even better. I'm gonna do, my cheeks, um, cheekbone area with one color and I'll do above my eye look with another color. So super excited, I'll show you guys what we have. So the first one I'm gonna show you guys is the Platinum Shimmering Body Powder. So this is the outer packaging, really cute. So it's vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, phthalate free, mineral, mineral oil free. And this retails for $14 on the ColourPop website. Now you're probably thinking $14, that's a lot, but look how big this is. This is huge. This is my hand. This is the palette. This is huge. Well worth it. Um, this is 10 grams or 0.35 ounces. So definitely a lot of product here and I love this packaging and it is sturdy feeling. I mean, it is plastic, but 
I like how bold and big it is. It's kind of hard to open, not gonna lie. Um, maybe I just gotta get used to opening it. But you guys, oh, you know how I love highlighters. This one's caught my eye. So um, look at this. This is huge, this is beautiful. This is the platinum color and it is an ivory gold with highlights of silver pearl is what is described on the website. This is absolutely beautiful. I wanted this color because I feel like no matter what time of year I'm gonna be able to use this whether I have my self tanner on or if I'm in my natural really fair skin tone. So I love how huge this is and look at this mirror. I'm gonna take the plastic off of it. This compact mirror is huge, so is this highlighter, and I'm super stoked. I will pay $14 if this has great payoff. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys and show you. That is just gorgeous. Look at that, beautiful. It is a lighter color, and I wanted a lighter color just so I could wear it any time of year. Oh my goodness, that is just gorgeous. I can't wait to use it. That is really pigmented. Very, very beautiful. Show you guys a live swatch. Beautiful, how beautiful is that? The next one I purchased is a pink champagne color. This is the outer packaging, so it's white. I love that. And once again, it comes in another packaging like this, and I am totally okay with that. I think this is amazing how big and sturdy this is. It is plastic, but I love how thick and big it is. I feel like I'm really getting $14 worth here. And it is a warm pink with highlights of gold pearl. This one was a little bit easier to open up. I don't know if it could be I'm getting used to it or if it's just my mine in general, this last one. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. I was initially only gonna get platinum, but then when I saw this, I couldn't help but melt at the photo and I'm super happy. Look, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Like I said, this is a warm pink with highlights of gold pearl and I can definitely see that. This is beautiful. Okay, let's swatch this and show you guys how this looks. Wow, you guys, that is beautiful. So pigmented. I love these colors. I'm gonna get a close up for you guys so you can look really close and see how beautiful this is. And the platinum I just swatched twice here, so this is the same color. I just showed you guys a live swatch here um, before I had just swatched it on my own. But here is the pink champagne and the platinum. Very beautiful colors, so Oh, this melts, guys. I love it. I can't wait to put this on and see how it looks with application. I've decided I'm gonna do the pink champagne on my cheekbones and I'm gonna do the platinum on my eyebrow bones. I feel like that's gonna be the best combination of what I have today. I could do vice versa too, but I just wanna do it that way. So here we have the pink champagne. I'm going in with a clean brush too, so that way it's gonna show you guys what it really is. I can't really tell. I'm kind of like, is anything coming? Hmm. I mean, it feels creamy, so it should, I don't really feel like it really, I don't really see it. I'm gonna use a different kind of brush and see if that's better. So I just read the back of this and it says how to use. For an extra highlighted look, use dampened body blending sp um, sponge to sweep shimmer. bleh, I'm tongue tied. Sweep shimmer over the skin. For soft wash sh shimmer, use angled body kabuki brush. So, uh, I don't really use sponge. I'm a little disappointed. Um, I wish I would have known that. 
That's weird because it, it got on my fingers so well. I don't really use sponge, but like just using my brush, there's only a sh soft shimmer. I don't really hardly see anything, which is um, really aggravating to me because I use brushes to apply my highlighter. I don't really use a sponge. Um, I do have one, I just haven't experimented with that. So I'm a little disap... Oh, I'm so bummed. I, I've been kind of looking forward to this and now I'm kind of disappointed. Um, I know a lot of people use sponges out there, so they're probably like, that ah, makes no difference to me, but I don't personally use sponges. Um, partially because I just don't want a bunch of bacteria in the sponge, putting it on my face. I'm really big on my skincare. Um, and I know you can be cleanly about it and things like that, but I just don't want to risk it. So now I'm a little disappointed. I'm going to try and grab a different brush and see how it applies. I grabbed another brush and I'm going to see how using this brush works. So it's a brush I actually got from Ipsy right here. Um, really cute brush actually. I'm going to stick it in and see how this one goes. So I'm putting it in pretty hard that's just crazy there's so very little comes out on the brush thinking it's the formula and very little comes out on the brush as you can see I mean actually that's a lot better with this okay okay I don't know if you guys can see it but now I feel like I've put a lot on Okay, so I definitely had to really dig in there to get color on my brush, and it's beautiful. I love the pink champagne. I don't know if you guys can see it real well, um, but it is really pretty. But that's crazy, not much got on my brush, and it's a beautiful color, but it didn't work with my other brush very well, and I had to really smear this around to get some color. Um, it does say with a sponge it works better, a wet sponge, but I'm not really a sponge girl, and I don't really wanna show you guys how to use a wet sponge when I don't really know how, so <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Um, so, for that being said, if you use sponges, it probably you get more color payoff than this. I'm gonna go in with my brush again and see if I get a little bit more. It's just so interesting, it only has little fleckles, Fleckles. I just made a new word. Only little fleckles. Um, so I really have to work at it to get more with my brush. It's not the end of the day because it's very beautiful and I, I love the color. But it's weird. It, it swatched so well on my finger. I don't get it. Maybe. Here's a thought. I'm going to put some on my finger. This formula is a little bit wetter than others, so maybe because it is wet, more wet than others, maybe that has something to do with it too. So I'm just using my finger here just to see. I feel like the finger helps a little bit, kind of make it a little bit more noticeable. I think I'm gonna go in on the other side and only use my finger and see how that works and then tap it in with my brush and see how that goes. This is just so bizarre to me, like, huh. So this comes up, I mean, honestly, you could just use your finger. Honestly, you could just use your finger. You don't have to use the sponge and you get better color payoff if you use your, look at that, that was just using my finger, guys. Didn't even use my brush. You get great color payoff. Because not much comes off of my brush. A little bit more came off this time. So weird, I just, Maybe I have to work it up a little bit too, but I noticed the finger did the better job. I, I used the finger at the end here. So it's a beautiful color. I love this, okay? I'm not saying it's not. 
beautiful. It's just not as easy to apply as some of my other highlighters. I mean, I don't mind using my finger. I just had to experiment. It does say um, it comes out more vibrant if you use a wet sponge. I just don't use wet sponges. But the finger worked wonderfully. So if you're okay using your finger, this is great. And then the brush, I mean, it just took a lot of work to get it pigmented. And even over here, I had to use my finger a little bit towards the end. Now we're gonna do up above on my brow bone here because I love to put highlighter up there. And we're gonna use the platinum to do this. I'm gonna go in with my normal brush because I love to use this one around my eyebrow and um, it's just shaped perfectly for it. Um, but it didn't work last time when I used it, but this could be a little bit easier to use. We're gonna see here. No, nothing is coming off. Uh, look at this. I am using this brush and completely clean and there is nothing on here. It's just a little stained, but there's nothing. Uh, so I'm probably gonna need to use my finger. Um, hmm. That is a beautiful color though. So honestly, I love the height. Mm, look how beautiful that is. And finger application works really well. Look at that, that's beautiful. Now we'll do the other side here. Beautiful. Now I dipped my finger in twice and put it up. And wow, that is beautiful, you guys. Look at that. All right, guys, so here are my honest opinions. We're gonna start with the eyeshadow palette. I love the eyeshadow palette. It's very beautiful. It honestly reminds me of cotton candy. The colors are just beautiful. I feel like the palette is more geared towards purpley blue vibes with just a hint of pink. I feel like the two pinks in there, you really have to work really hard to get that pink to reflect in your look. I feel like the colors are beautiful though and um, they really mesh well together. If you're looking for this kind of cotton candy, pastel color look with purples and blues, I feel like this is the palette for you for the price. The payoff is wonderful. I think this is a beautiful look. Um, I will say, um, I don't feel like there's a whole lot you can do with this look. I feel like no matter how you do the colors, you're gonna get a similar look to this each time. I don't know for sure. Obviously, this is my first time using it, but just based on the colors that I played with, I played with almost every single color in this palette today, showing this to you guys. and. I feel like there's really not a whole lot you can do with this palette except this kind of look. It's very beautiful and I do love it, um, but like I said, there's not a whole lot you can do with it. But it is only a nine color palette, so it is to be expected. And the last products I'm gonna be talking about are the body, or the shimmering body powders from Soul Body that is also from ColourPop. They're like two in one kind of thing. I think that since they are a wetter highlighter, um, they have to be applied a certain way. Obviously we saw with my brush, especially my one certain kind of brush, it just didn't work. Um, and then my other brush, it came through, but not very well, just like the back says. Um, but I never read the details when I purchased them. I just saw a body highlighter and I thought, well, oh my gosh, it's beautiful and I've heard good things, but I didn't hear about how they apply better with a sponge. But you know what? The hidden part that wasn't described in the back was that you can use your finger and your finger does a wonder for this. So I think personally that's just gonna be how I use it. I didn't show you guys the sponge because I personally don't use sponges. You have to be very particular on how you clean them and it holds a lot of bacteria. And I am very self-conscious about my skin. I get acne pretty easily. So very sensitive skin. Don't wanna go there with sponges. I know that a lot of people have wonderful things to say about them. Um, I've been hesitant to try. I do have some sponges that are just sitting at my vanity that I'm kind of like, oh, is it today the day? But I didn't want to show you guys how to apply it with that because I'm still uncertain how to use a sponge. So I'm sorry, you'll have to look at another review to get that information. But I tell you what, the finger works wonderful. The color is beautiful. It swatches beautifully. 
I think since it's a wetter kind of highlighter, you have to apply it a certain way in order for it to get good payoff on your skin. So on the website of ColourPop, after reading it, it does say it's a liquid powder. So that is my own bad for not reading the description. Make sure you read descriptions because I honestly cannot be disappointed because it says right there in the description that it's a liquid powder. That being said, it doesn't surprise me that it doesn't apply well with a brush. So I can't be completely mad that it is a liquid powder. Um, that's my own fault for not doing enough research. So if you're into liquid powders or liquid highlighters, this is definitely one for you. It's not a completely dry powder. So um, it does have that wet consistency, but it dries kind of powdery. So um, I will say for a wet liquid, liquidish um, highlighter, it actually is really nice. I've had troubles in the past with others because I have such oily skin that it almost takes off my makeup when I apply it with my finger. And this does not do that. So I'm super happy with that. I think for what it is, I'm gonna be really happy with it because it's not like other liquid uh, powder highlighters that I've tried before. So I definitely recommend this if you are looking for something with high payoff, with a lot of product, and if you use sponges, this could definitely be a product for you. Or if you're just looking for that light glow, you can still use a brush. Um, for me personally, I like that intermediate kind of color and my finger did wonderfully. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful, swatches beautifully. <laughs> Just be at mind what the kind of consistency with the product is. Thanks for stopping by with Glow with Candace. I hope you enjoyed this review from ColourPop on the In a Trance eyeshadow palette and also a couple of the highlighters from Soul Body, the Platinum and the Pink Champagne. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button down below. And if you're new here and you wanna stick around and see future videos like this and more by me, hit the subscribe button. I would love to see you back on my channel. But until next time, bye.